morning. It's about 7.30. And uh, I've made two mistakes this week. First one was I didn't come up here Sunday because uh, I believe the weather fornicators and they said it was going to rain. And it was absolutely beautiful. And then number two was the last time I was here, I forgot to put my gloves in the shed. So, yeah, I won't be wearing those today. Hopefully I got another pair. Uh, thermos of coffee with me it's like 50 degrees up here it's not really that cold but uh, it's damp feeling and uh, a cup of coffee be nice well today's project is to clean up the mess that I made oh what was that last week or so ago and uh, basically I want to clear a path through there because I have a canopy that's old that I want to set up uh, just for some rain cover for the winter time Although, I think I need to cut some more of these trees down too. Well, I was about to brag how I was making 7 amps of power at the sun, but uh, now I'm taking a rain break instead. I think I'm just going to have to get used to working soaking wet. So I'm having a uh, one of my rain breaks, and a part of the problem is uh, I can sweat in the snow. And so I'm out here moving trees around and I'm sweating pretty good, except for it's still like 50 degrees, so when I stop for a minute to take a break, I get like really cold all of a sudden. So, uh, yeah, I actually think it's better when it's warm and I'm just sweating and then I don't get cold. I don't know. Really, pretty much anything where I don't have to sweat, I approve of. Boy, she's really coming down now. I was going to stick it out because usually it stops for, you know, pretty quick. But the longer I saw, the more rain came down. Yeah, I was wondering if any of the uh, 60 faithful viewers that watch my channel, uh oh, I'm falling know what kind of tree this is right here it's a little different than most of the pine trees I see around here it's like much denser so like that's the inside of the log is that a very good shot there we go it's really heavy anyhow if anyone right, knows we had curious. a low-level casualty here this rhododendron branch uh, got separated from its main component. I'm not really sure how to put that back on there. I think it's a goner. However, it's a lower grade casualty because actually like three trees fell on that and knocked it to the ground and I got it tied off to this stump right here. I don't know if you can see the pink string right there or not, but anyhow, it's tied off and hopefully it'll grow up right. It's kind of like growing out from underneath this really old cedar tree stump right there. So I don't know if I should try to Cut that stump out so it'll go straight or just let it go. I'm going to just let it go, I think, because it's already growing. So, anyhow, a high level spring. casualty was this madrona tree, which uh, in my last video, those two trees that kind of stuck together before they fell, yeah, they fell on top of this, and I just could not get it back upright. So, I feel super bad about that. That was a really cool looking tree, and it just, because uh, I suck at dying. I dropped all those trees are on the stack of woods, and really only like three logs fell off of it not too bad well it's raining here but it's sunny uh, across this uh, uh, canal over there but I can't get this zoomed in I think my lens is fogged up but you can see the colors turning well you can in real life you can't see it on here but it looks really neat because it's kind of gloomy here but it's sunny over there and you can see the colors I don't know if I'm gonna be able to catch it but inside the tarp here it's actually dripping and the whole purpose of the tarp, uh, this is a terrible angle, I'm sorry folks, is to stop it from dripping on the camper. So I guess I'll be buying a new tarp. Well, this is where I'm hanging out whenever it starts raining. Uh, it's not much, but it's better than getting wet. I like the fall colors, but it's always sad when the leaves fall and then it gets cold and rainy. Still, very pretty. A couple days later, it's Halloween, and uh, I'm going to guess it's going to be pretty late with the trick-or-treaters. Uh, came up to get some stuff done around the lot. We're doing kind of some community stuff. Actually, it was, it, it was supposed to be like a 100% chance of rain, and I got up here early in the afternoon, and it's pretty much been like this. So once again, the for weather fornicators. How do those guys get paid? I don't understand it. Well, it's Sunday morning. It's about 4 a.m. I slept really good last night in the camper. It was about 45 degrees outside just to hunker down inside the sleeping bag and have a go at it. Pretty nice. Anyhow, time for that first cup of joe. 
So when it's 45 degrees outside, my big ceramic coffee mug keeps my coffee cold for about eight seconds. So I had to dig my insulated thermos out of my car and put everything in there uh, just to have a, a reasonably warm cup of coffee. So I'm testing out this new Milwaukee spotlight, well, it's spot and floodlight. It's in uh, floodlight mode right now. And I got to say, this thing is really impressive. So I'm doing this on my camera. I'll do a full review when I get my regular video camera back. All right, I'm going to see if I can get this uh, pile of wet brush lit with one of my homemade fire starters. Man, I really wish I had my regular camera. It's 7 o'clock in the morning. No, it's like 7.30. And the sun is just coming up like way over there, which it's usually supposed to come up over there. But uh, it's pretty. I don't know if this camera's capturing it or not, but it's it's pretty nice. I'm trying to get this fire going. It's kind of going All right, time to put in the uh, heavy hitter, the Duraflame roasting log. I don't feel like monkeying around with this thing. So the reason where the sun comes up is important because I thought it was going to be like relatively clear, so I thought I'd get some extra solar in today. So I stood these panels up, which was a real pain in the ass hoping to catch some morning sunlight and the sun is over there which is not where my panels are facing all right now we're cooking with wood hope I don't have the fire department over here <laughs> this stuff is so wet and basically it's you got to steam off all the water before you get to the burn and it just makes a lot of smoke okay this is turning out to be more effort than it's worth I just have to like constantly tend this to keep it going. It's just way too wet. So I'll probably just let this sit till spring. Uh, last spring, everything that sat through the winter just fired right up. So I was kind of hoping to get rid of this ice hard, but that ain't going to happen. I'm breathing heavy because between trying to make that burn, I'm also digging out this corner right here so my big ass truck can make the turn up the driveway. And then when I get too tired from doing that, I go down there and haul sticks up from, uh, you can't see it, but there's a giant pile of sticks and I've been bringing them up here and stacking them on there. So, yeah, it ain't all wine and roses up here. Well, we're going to give everyone a break from savoring the adventure and today I'm going to try the uh, Augustine Farms black beans and rice. Uh, this is, uh, I think it's freeze dried. Anyhow, you got to put six cups of water, no not six cups. Three cups of water, which I am boiling at the moment, and uh, we'll see how it goes. All right, I've given her a sample, and I got to tell you what, it's not terrible, but it is salty as heck. I don't know why they got to put so much salt in these things, and it's pretty common throughout any of the dehydrated foods, they're just salty. Mm -hmm. 